request from a viewer, Lewis Structure, of cesium fluoride. Now, the staircase here separates metals from non-metals. Cesium is very metallic. It's almost as far to the left and down as you can get. Cesium is a metal. Fluorine is a non-metal in the top right. Now, that's important because a metal plus a non-metal will combine to make an ionic compound, which means that there is a transfer of electrons, not a sharing of electrons. Let's see how that might happen. Cesium is in group one. That means that it brings one valence electron. It has one electron in its outer shell. Fluorine is in group 17. It brings seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, non-metals like fluorine, or basically all of the non-metals except for hydrogen, want eight electrons in their outer shell. It's called the octet rule. And this fluorine is only one electron short. So what happens? Well, the electron from cesium goes to the fluorine. Now, fluorine has eight electrons. That's good. Octet rule. And cesium lost the only electron that was in its outer shell. That means its new outer shell is the one inside of that, which by definition was full. So what we end up with is a cesium atom that has no electrons in what was its outer shell, and it has a charge of positive one. You can write just plus or you can write plus one if you'd like. And the fluorine atom now has eight electrons in its outer shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one more than it started with, so it has a minus one charge. This is how we draw the Lewis structure for an ionic compound. And you can see this one lost an electron. This one gained an electron. It's a beautiful thing. Take care and best of luck.